autumn. It's when we talk about things beside Marvel superhero movies. Though, there's one of them, Thor Fraggle Rock, or whatever it's called. And another DC superhero jamboree, Justice League. Shall we? Though the more intriguing Wonder Woman movie is Professor Marston and the Wonder Women, which dramatizes the feminist superheroine's somewhat kinky origins. Dr. Marston, every issue of Wonder Woman is filled with violence, torture, and sadomasochism. Feminism, if you didn't know, is big box office. You've heard about the fun battle of the sexes biopic with Emma Stone as Billie Jean King versus Steve Carell's chauvinist piglet Bobby Riggs. Male chauvinist pig versus hairy leg feminist. No offense. You're still a feminist, right? But definitely the weirdest female-centric movie is Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, a mix of sorrowful tragedy and icky violence and broad comedy by Irish playwright Martin McDonough. So, Mildred Hayes, why did you put up these billboards? My daughter Angela was murdered seven months ago. It seems to me the police department is too busy torturing black folks to solve actual crime. What the hell is this? The New York Film Festival opener this week is Richard Linklater's Last Flag Flying, a buddy comedy astride a grave, the grave of a son of a Vietnam vet played by Steve Carell, who recruits two of the men he served with, played by Brian Cranston and Lawrence Fishburne, for a less orthodox funeral. I thought we were going to a funeral. We are going to a funeral. Just looks like it's going to take a little longer to get there. It's both fun and tragic kind of a theme this autumn. Like the best film I've seen so far this year, The Florida Project by Sean Baker, who famously shot his marvelous tangerine on an iPhone. Here he has real movie cameras, and he gets every drop of atmosphere from his setting, a transient motel not far from Disney World, where a little girl and her friends romp. These are the rooms we're not supposed to go in. But let's go anyway. Until reality kicks in, and the sky falls. From my perspective on the fall movies, though, the sky's the limit.